Hey, babe. <laughs> I got off work early and I thought you and I could. <laughs> Why are you here? Don't go anywhere. You weren't supposed to be back this early. That was the worst moment of my life. I couldn't deal with it, so I decided to find myself a place to stay. All the decent places were full, and I had stopped in at five or six. It was on the deserted area outside of town where I came across. It wasn't a five-star hotel, but hey, breakfast was included. Hello? Greetings! Whoa. Welcome to our inn. How long will you be staying? Um, one night. One night? Of course, of course. <laughs> Wake up, you old fool! <laughs> Jesus, you almost died again. Here's your room key. You'll be staying in the Oriso suite. Thanks. You're not from around here, are you? Well, actually, I... You look lost. And not in the one foot in front of the other kind of way. <laughs> When's the last time you opened your mind's eye? My... Mind's eye? Shh. I have just the thing. Look, man, I don't need any of your... This inn was built on a hot spring. The bath water in each of the rooms has a mineral that should be great for your relaxation. <sighs> Thanks. I'll make sure to keep that in mind. The room was cramped, and the light was dim. I told myself to be happy to have a roof over my head. After seeing the room, the bath sounded more and more appealing. The man was right. It was surprisingly wonderful. Maybe this inn was a good choice after all. I sat in there for what felt like hours, and for a moment, I blacked out. Excuse me. How's the bath? How's the bath? Good. Shall I scrub your back for you? What? Is it because I'm a monkey? No, of course not. Here you go. It's got very cold these days, hasn't it? That it has. So you can speak English? I can indeed. I was raised by humans from an early age. I lived for quite a time in Chicago. What part of Chicago? Edison Park. Oh, nice. We could have been neighbors. Who raised you? My master was a college professor, specialized in physics. Hmm. An intellectual, yes. Truly. He loved music more than anything, particularly the music of Mendelssohn. You enjoy Mendelssohn? Yes. I love Natorno in G minor. I often listen to Allegro Molto in C minor. Yes. That's truly lovely music. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. So, do you work here at the inn? I do. They've been kind enough to let me. The upscale places would never hire a monkey. But here, it doesn't matter as long as you make yourself useful. They let me work only where I can mostly stay out of sight. 
As you can imagine, the kitchen is out since I've run into issues with food sanitation law. Have you been working here a long time? About three years. Would you like to continue this conversation in your room? I'm off work in 30 minutes and can stop by after with some beer. Although you'd have to charge them to your room tomorrow morning. Would that be convenient? That's fine. Sir. Sure. So you drink beer? A little bit, yeah. Thanks for the drinks. Have you, uh, ever lived with other monkeys? Yes, several times. Although having been raised in a human household, I couldn't express my feelings well to them. We had little in common. They said I talked funny and bullied me. It got harder for me to stay there, so I went off on my own. Became a rogue monkey, in other words. Must have been lonely for you. Indeed. I couldn't talk to monkeys or to humans. I lived on the streets, scrounging for food. You couldn't listen to Mendelssohn either. True. That's not part of my life now. The other thing that really tormented me was relations with females. By relations with females, you mean... I didn't feel a speck of sexual desire for female monkeys. <laughs> Yes, that's exactly right. It's embarrassing, but honestly, I could only love human females. That could, uh, lead to some real problems, yeah? Real problems indeed. I could never expect a human to respond to my desires, me being a monkey. Plus, it runs counter to genetics. I have loved seven women who have never seen me. Wow. How do you deal with that? Have you ever truly loved someone? Yeah. Today, actually, I found out that person loves someone else. Yet you still love her. I do. And how do you deal with that? May you allow me to give my opinion on the subject of love? Of course. I believe that love is the indispensable fuel for us to go on living. Someday that love may end. Or it may never amount to anything. But even if that love fades away, even if it's unrequited, you can still hold on to the memory of having loved someone. And that's a valuable source of warmth. Without it, a person's heart, and a monkey's heart too, would turn into a bitterly cold wasteland. Here in my heart, I treasure the women I loved. I use these memories as my own fuel source, to keep me warm as I live out what's left of my own personal life. Huh. That's a strange way of putting it, isn't it? Personal life? Given that I'm a monkey, not a person. Hee <laughs> hee! Good morning, sir. Hi. What happened to the cat? We don't allow animals in the building, sir. But... Checking out? Yeah, um... Can you charge those uh, beers from last night to the, uh, the Rizal Suite? Sir, we don't serve beer here. What? What about the... Sir, is there something we should be concerned about? No, nothing at all. 